episode 156. Are you ready to take your eBay business to the next level? Then hold on, because Ron and Ali are going to take you into the fast lane. With the latest tips and insights from some of the biggest and most successful sellers, here on the So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast. Welcome once again to another episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. I'm Ron LeBeau. And I'm Ali Young. Hey, everyone. We have with us today Kenneth Morrison. Kenneth, how are you doing this evening? I'm okay. Just hanging out. A little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, Ali. We made another one nervous. That's crazy. Do you know what? It's so common. Everyone seems to be so nervous, but at the end of it, we can't stop them talking. I just, I'm not, I, I've never been asked for an interview, so. Oh, all right, cool. That's uh, something I'm used to. Interrogation, yes, not an interview. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. And Kenneth, seriously, this is going to be just nothing different than uh, having a, a phone conversation. That's what we tell everybody. So yeah. we're just going to have a good time. So Kenneth is a full-time eBay seller with 15 years experience, and he is the owner and operator of Jake Games. So that is pretty cool. So tell us a little bit about Jake Games and how it got started. Well, it started, I actually started selling on eBay a long time ago uh, as a need for money. I had a kid on the way, so I started selling my personal stuff, and uh, this is the, I guess, third or fourth try at this, basically. So I had you, a you sell games partner. and stuff, do you? Is, is that, I mean, obviously the name's uh, a bit of a giveaway, but... Yeah, I sell uh, uh, card games like Magic the Gathering, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon... Uh, I also sell video games, movies, comics, all kinds of nerd collectibles type stuff. Oh, awesome. Like Google. So. Huh. so is that a thing that you've been doing since a kid? I mean, is it sort of like you picked it up in the playground, you were dealing your cards, and then that sort of <laughs> led to where you're at now? Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, I used to make, I remember making like bracelets, and uh, I had a friend sell them, and had some the Marvel Universe cards from the 90s and would sell those. And uh, my mom was always into – she did crafts, so I always would go to her with her booth and stuff. And, yeah. And uh, she would sell stuff, so I kind of got that bug, I guess you could say. I think that's really cool when parents uh, teach their kids how to be entrepreneurs, um, you know, because there are a lot of people, myself included, that, that have spent most of their adult life in the corporate world or working at a job for somebody else, making their dreams come true. So it's really kind of yeah. cool, like that your your mom kind of showed you how to do some of this, uh, or at least inspired you to do some of this, and yeah. uh, you kind of yeah. taken it off and doing it by by yourself, and now you're doing it full time. How long have you been doing it full time? Uh, this will be about two years. Okay. Uh, full time. Uh, I had a business partner before that we had started a business together and it just didn't end up working out. Uh, he kind of just gave up on me. So, you know, he might be listening to this episode. (laughs) (laughs) It's time for a quick break, but the guys will be right back here on the, so you want to sell on eBay podcast. Join us for Ecom Chicago, our fifth annual three day conference on October 18th through the 20th, specializing in e commerce and business growth. Listen and learn from accomplished speakers in the e commerce world, including eBay, Etsy, Merch by Amazon, Walmart, Jet, as well as many others. This will be an opportunity you don't want to miss. Network, share tips and tricks, challenges, and successes, and learn from expert speakers and sponsors, as well as the numerous attendees from across the U.S. Be sure to check out the special pre-show vendor day on October 18th live, where vendors will be focused on demos on products and services. Find all the info at ecomchicago.com. Use coupon code podcast to receive $20 off your registration. Visit ecomchicago.com. Sponsorship opportunities available. A repetitive question among eBay sellers is, how can I sell more? Another one is, what solutions should I use to grow my business? Today, we have an answer to both. 3D Sellers. It is a -a first-of-a-kind platform that combines all vital solutions for eBay sellers under one dashboard. 3D Sellers has powerful tools for you to increase sales. 3D Sellers will boost your feedback score with a smart feedback reminder. 3D Sellers will give your listings a professional look and bring 
doing repeat business with professional cross-selling emails, and it is easy to use. There are other tools too. 3D Seller combines all the tools you need. Just visit 3dsellers.com and start a free plan now. It is already trusted by over 200,000 eBay sellers. And now only, so you want to sell on eBay listeners get a 20% discount for a pro plan. Just use the code podcast. Visit 3dsellers.com now and get ready to sell more. Check us out online or on social media. Facebook.com forward slash so you want to sell on eBay and Twitter at your eBay podcast. So, so you like a thrifter, are you? Like, are you, is that where you're getting stuff? I mean, are you without sort yeah. of saying where you're, where you're buying your sources and yeah. stuff? So, what, what's your sort of way of shopping? Uh, I mainly just thrift stores. Go to a lot. We have a lot of thrift stores in the area that I'm in, and, and uh, that's about it. Uh, check the Facebook pages and, you know, Craigslist, but people just want too much for their stuff in this area. They want right. like retail. So, but, uh, yeah, just mainly that, uh, if I'm at like Walmart or one of those places that, uh, they have things on clearance that I can make a couple bucks off, I'll pick those up too. But, uh, mainly just their stores and Very uh, cool. stuff, stuff I've acquired over the years. Yeah. You know? So I see that you do auctions and buy it now. Do you have better luck with one or the other, or what? What determines if you're uh, going to put it on auction or buy it now? Well, I only really do auctions for comic books, uh, just because eBay gives, eBay gives me uh, free listings. Oh, okay. So I just use that, but uh, at least in that store, I mainly just sell things that are like under five bucks. Uh, a lot of the magic cards are a dollar twenty-five, a dollar ten. You know, and I just send a plain white envelope, PWE, and uh, that's how I make money off that. So, PWE. <laughs> what does that stand for? Uh, pl- plain white envelope. Oh, <laughs> come on, Ron! Didn't you get the memo? I didn't yeah. know if Ali had gotten that. How's that? <laughs> Cover me, Ali. Cover me. Gee, okay, so how PWE, many? Okay. How many you got then? What's your What's your collection? Uh, like of stuff that I need to put up yeah, or yeah, like how many products have you sort of got in your, in your, in the thing? Uh, I have about 60, 70,000 magic cards that I need sorted in my storage unit. Right. 70,000 cards. Yeah. That I would just, 60, wow, that's incredible. Picked up collections from people. Uh, I played magic for, you know, uh, 20 years. So I had my own collection, and then I pick up collections from other people, and and uh, just kind of built up from there. So, Amazing. so when you when you play a game like that for twenty years, isn't it kind of hard to kind of turn loose of those cards? Or you, I mean, you have to keep favorites, right? Uh, no, not really. Um, Dollar I've sign kinda, speak. <laughs> I've kind of moved away from it. I'm not really into playing it anymore. So, uh, kind of. Okay. Uh, don't really have any emotional attachment to it. So they're so, just pieces of cardboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you break yeah, it you down to the on. nitty gritty, that's all it really is. But um, yeah. so is there like sort of collectible ones though? Is there like ones that go back to Queen Victoria days? No, no. Uh, Magic started 25 years ago. Right. So, um, you know, but uh, most of the cards I have are somewhere in between. You know, I've, I've, I've gone through many collections over the years. A personal and picking up from people and stuff so how quick are you at uh, at appraising magic cards um pretty quick i know most of the prices and stuff i know uh what's worth what and you know what's valuable so uh i might not be able to give an exact number on what that one card's worth but i know if it's worth more than a dollar okay so. <laughs> that's so cool that's a good years of experience so so what's right. your average day then? So you, you do you spend most of the days going out buying your products and then putting them on eBay or you doing everything, yeah. you like taking the pictures and everything as well? Yeah, yeah, I do pretty much everything. Uh, the wife helps sort cards but, uh, and the kids, but that's about it. Uh, pretty much everything else I do. So. Man, that's pretty cool that you're able to do that full time. I mean, this is something you enjoy doing. We hear this all the time, don't we, Ali? I mean, yeah. people are selling things that they love to sell. And, you know, the common theme, you started selling things because you needed some extra money. And all of a sudden you realize that, hey, you know what? I can make some money here. And now you're making a living doing it. Um, yeah. It's it's pretty cool. Kudos to your wife, too, for letting you do that, man. I mean, that's. Yeah, she's, uh, she's very supportive, needless to say. 
and I just said that because I know she'll be listening to this episode too. But you know, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it, it is really cool that you know that you guys have the partnership that uh, you know she would allow you to be able to do this and and make a living and realize that uh, you're you're going to put everything into it that you need to to get what you need to get out of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Amazing. She- so is your yeah. is your goal to keep expanding this? Is it is it like is you going to bring your wife on board as well or? Um, no, she's, I think she's pretty happy with where she's at. She's got a pretty good job. So she, uh, she enjoys what she does, I think. So, uh, it's kind of a, she'll sort cards, like I said, every once in a while, but she doesn't really want to, she's not into it like I am. So, so okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's probably, it sounds to me like it's more your past passion than hers. And if yeah. she were to do anything in eBay, she'd have to find you know what she likes to do because you know really if you know she, even if she acted like she was all bought into this it would get really really old if she didn't enjoy it right yeah exactly yeah and even for me it gets old sometimes so sure yeah <laughs> yeah so cool I so do you that. did you have like um so do you do other stuff as well so you do the magic card you do what, what sort of stuff are you selling these uh, days? i do uh i also do the pokemon card game I do uh, sport oh, cards. Nice. Uh, graded, graded and not graded. Uh, I do video games, movies, toys, uh, like CDs. Anything I think I can make a couple bucks off. I'll try to sell cameras. I'll, I'll sell the Polaroid cameras. Uh, yeah, I got so much random stuff. So. So how do you? Yep. Yep. How do you store it all then? What's your What's your method to being uh, able to find that I, stuff? Uh, well, I have a storage unit that I store most of it in. Wow. Would that, like, and, uh, temperature conditioned, I hope? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely yeah. made sure that I had the, the weather-controlled one, AC one. And, uh, but I have that. I also, you know, that's where I store all those cards at and stuff. Uh, you know, I have a couple bookshelves full of stuff, of uh, things. Uh, the great thing about the cards is that uh, they basically fit in a couple boxes in the closet. So cool. That's really cool, man. You know, you know, you go on eBay and you can actually, as you know, you can buy anything on eBay. And I'm thinking to myself, why would anybody want to, you know, sell, you know, car engines? You know, (laughs) I was like, when there's there's something so small as is, you know, we we interviewed uh, a guy postcards not too long ago. And now you with these cards and and it's just uh, it's pretty interesting to, you know, see how cool it is to sell things that you like to sell that fit in a. PWE. See what I did there, Ollie? <laughs> oh, amazing, Ron. Getting it. I've got the right that one right, Ask me what it is. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's cool, man. So um, this is really interesting. Yeah, how old are your kids? I, I know you kind of said that they kind of help no, out a little I have, bit. Uh, a 14 and two 10-year-olds. No. Nice. Okay, are they twins? Uh, no. Okay, gotcha. Uh, one, one was hers and one's mine for the 10 Gotcha. A pair of 10. So are they helping you? Yeah, they they don't mind making a couple dollars sorting cards. That's awesome. Sure. You know. Yeah. Nice. Get, get them working early. Get them started. Yeah. Yeah. They can get some Lego sets, and uh, the oldest likes to uh, scan and list stuff. So that's what he's been doing a lot of. Cool, awesome. man. That's awesome. So that's how you do it. Then you're using a scanner. Obviously, it's easier than using a camera. Oh yeah. With the cards, yeah. With the cards, comics, I, I use the scanner. Uh, I have a camera that I use for all the bigger stuff. So that's cool. That's a great idea, actually. Yep. And the the, the pictures look really good. I, Ali, I don't know if you can see my screen, but these yep. pictures are looking really, really good, man. I mean, uh, it looks like you you know spend some good time in making uh, making sure the the photos are are good representation because as yeah. they are, that is what sells the product. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we Absolutely. we got a question in from a guy called Stevie Owen. He he was he was wondering, like he's new to eBay. He doesn't know how many hours he should sort of invest in in his business every day because he you know he, like like getting the listings, putting the pictures on, blah blah blah, going yeah. out and buying it. You know it can become a bit overwhelming. How did you how did you find your way where you sort of streamlined everything like this? Um, just from the years of doing it. Yep. Uh, I usually I usually go to the thrift stores in the morning. You know, I'll come home, have lunch, pack everything up, and then I'll list stuff for the rest of the day until the wife gets home. So, so how many hours? The plan. You're doing like eight hour shifts, so you're like you're using it like a proper job or uh, something. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't feel like it, but yeah, probably about eight hours. Just depends on the mood I'm in. If I want to do more. Yeah. Isn't that great though? Oh, I'm a bit tired today. I'm not going to be putting yeah. anything on eBay. You know, yeah. I, I, I envy people like yourself because you know what? You could do what you do in the morning if you want to, or you could do it in the evening if you want to. I mean, you, you pretty much set your own hours, um, you know, and you don't really have anyone else to answer to, um, which is really kind of cool. It's a neat concept. I, I'd like to try it someday. Um, and yeah, I mean, it just, you know, obviously there's a lot of hard work. There's no, no guesswork about that. That's a common theme we hear as well, that some people believe that, you know, Hey, you're just going to start your business and it's going to, you know, be on cruise control. Not true. Right. No, no, you definitely got to keep up with it and keep listing stuff. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, you. You've got several thousand, uh, like five or six thousand items right now for sale, which is really kind of cool. Um, and you said you had sixty to seventy thousand magic cards. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah you, and that's gotta, that's that's just like the commons. Uh, they have they have different sets. They have like rare, uncommon, and common, and that's just the commons. Uh, we're still sorting the uncommons right now. That I I have a a box of about five, 6,000 that I need to scan and list also. So, wow. Crazy. Yeah. Lots. Of food. So what, what, <laughs> yes. what do you do if they don't sell? Do you just, you just leave them? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I do the good till cancel thing and, uh, I just list them and forget them until, until they sell. So anybody that's out there that's starting their eBay business, tell them a little bit about the good to cancel. I mean, so if you put something on there and you do it good to cancel, are you paying extra for that? Or are you paying any more to, to leave it sit there forever? Or, uh, or No, it just as long as you have the free listings, it just counts towards that. Uh, if you don't, then it, it gets you get charged for it. But uh, it just keeps relisting itself. It doesn't cost any extra or anything. Yeah, I mean, that's really kind of cool because, you know, there's a lot of things out there that that people sell or they pick up at a Goodwill or a thrift shop. And it may not be something that somebody is looking at looking for right now. But as we know from doing a lot of these shows that basically anything will sell anything. Oh, will yeah. Sell, you know? yeah, eventually. So, eventually. Right. That's the key right there. You just can't uh, you can't do a couple things here. You can't only have five things on eBay and then yep. you can't expect it to sell tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Brilliant. Yeah, that's. It looks like you stay pretty busy, though. Your uh, cha-ching button, uh, you know, on your phone goes off pretty <laughs> often, right? Uh, yeah. It, it just depends on what account I'm logged into. Some more than others. So, but, but uh, definitely the definitely the main one that you're looking at is the one that cha-chings more than the others. That's for sure. So why why would you have separate accounts? Is that is that just to um, so you can niche down on specific products? Yeah, I, I like to have uh, like you said the different products, but it also helps against uh, like the listing fees and stuff. Uh, you get the free listings, and uh, you know if I if I list you know two hundred and fifty in one one account that goes over, and it's just going to cost me money anyway. So I might as well just open another account that sells a certain thing. Yeah, that's kind of the way I look at it. And you just so, have a you just have a basic store, would you? You just have a normal store on it. Uh, the 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 smaller ones I do. The this main one I have the the middle one, the fifty nine. It's not the anchor; it's the one between. Okay. Okay. And, and why would, like why would you do that? Month. Was that is that give you better options and stuff? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It gives you fifteen hundred free listings a month, I think, or it's a thousand. One of the two. But it gives you at least a thousand. I know that much of uh, free listings, whereas the other ones only give you two fifty. So, yeah, you would you would uh, go past that in a heartbeat. So yeah, yeah makes exactly. sense. Yeah. And you're just not quite at the uh, anchor store level, right? I mean, yeah, so the, no. yeah, that's they cool. need something in between. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been telling them for years they need to make one in between those two because I can't. It's not worth it for two hundred dollars a month. It's a lot, isn't it? Right. I've been yeah, I've been telling them for years. That they need to make one. <laughs> I've been okay. telling them for years. <laughs> that's I amazing. have been. I'm like, you guys need to make one that's in between for people like me that have a couple thousand yeah. listings. You know? Yeah. Because <clears throat> I'm not. Gonna, I'm two hundred dollars a month is too much for fees. So. So what area are you in, Kenneth? Uh, I'm in the Hampton Roads, Virginia. Okay. Area. Uh, 
we're uh norfolk virginia beach that area i don't know if you guys awesome heard. yeah of course yeah that's yeah, awesome so, yeah I grew grew up here so okay very cool um and ali that's on the east coast yeah Just that's you know. you know so i'm looking at a map right now that's on never eat shredded wheat so it's on that side there that's cool so do you see yourself just continuously doing this? I mean, this is, this is your, your way of living. I mean, do you have any other sort of entrepreneurial sort of stuff going? Um, not right now. I'm probably going to start look, uh, once the kids go back, I'm going to start looking for uh, to school. I'm probably going to look for some part-time overnight job or something just for a little more income. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with more money. <laughs> no, I mean, no. And seriously, the cool thing about this is you already have this established. So while you're at that job overnight, you're going to, you know, people are going to go, hey, what was that cha-ching? I oh, don't know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry what, about was that? That? what was that cha-ching? Yeah, I don't right. know. what. It's, uh, a great, it's an app uh, on my phone. <laughs> yeah, it's a great, great conversation starter. I know that much. So. Well, for sure. And, and you know what? It's funny because a lot of the people that we talk to, you know, uh, you know, their relatives and family and everybody in their friends are all skeptical. Oh, yeah, right. You're going to sell on eBay and you're going to make a living doing it. And then all of a yeah. sudden these people start doing it and they bring in decent money. And they're like, OK, so how did you say I did that again? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you, you know, teach me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Oh, I can yeah. teach you. All right. Sure, I can. Yeah. So but uh, we're all skeptics, I guess, you know, uh, the proof's in the pudding, which is uh, really cool. And it's really good to see people like you doing really well. Ron and Ali will be right back after this short break. So, you have an idea, a big idea, and you're ready to jump into the world of e-commerce. Awesome. But where to start? The answer is only a click away. At solutionsforecommerce.com, you'll find available services to help manage, audit, or even build your e-commerce site from the ground up. With over 10 years of experience in developing and managing channels on sites like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, and Etsy, Solutions for E-commerce can help you to grow your small or large business. Take a step back from the technical and do what you do best and let Solutions for E-commerce handle the tedious stuff like creating, reviewing, adding, or removing listings setting up or organizing store categories, even merchandising and customer support. Find out why their clients say that their business wouldn't be what it is today without the help from Solutions for E-commerce. Visit solutionsforecommerce.com and take your e-commerce business to the next level. That's solutions, the number four, e-commerce.com. Use promo code eBay at checkout for an exclusive So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast discount. Check out so you want to sell on eBay.com for the latest podcasts and all the information you need to get selling fast. So, so why eBay going. though? Well, I mean, why did you why did you choose eBay as as an option? Well, at the time when I actually started selling stuff, uh, it was either eBay or Yahoo auctions. Right. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yep. Oh my but, goodness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was actually the first place I sold things on. I sold some Pokemon games that I'd gotten for Christmas when I was like 15 years old. So, uh, and, and but, you're still uh, doing this. That's pretty incredible. I had people... stopped for a while. I, okay. I had stopped for a while. I just became a collector. And then, uh, like I said, when I, when I found out I was going to have a, a kid, I started selling some stuff and, uh, this is where I'm at now. So. Okay. Uh, many jobs in between. So I did it part-time for a while. Let's talk about shipping then. So I imagine most of your stuff's pretty easy. You know, you're sticking it in that. What, what was the oh, code, yeah. Ron? I've forgotten the code already. For what? The envelope. Oh, it's PWE, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So yeah, I imagine you're <laughs> sticking it in that PWE and uh, and then that's it, is it? I mean, you, you don't do any first class or anything like that or what do you think? Uh, well, the other stores do for sure. They, they all do. But uh, th this store... I mainly do plain white envelopes, but the other ones, uh, I just use the PayPal, eBay thing and print the labels right off the computer and uh, wrap it up and drop it off at the post office. Yeah. So, nice. Very cool, better, man. Standing in line. That's for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> do you find yourself going to the post office daily or a couple oh, times yeah. a week? Oh, really? Daily. Yeah, I go every day. So, at least... Uh, I at least go through the through the blue boxes to drop stuff in. Yeah, I got you. I, only when I have a packages do I actually go inside. But for the most part, it's just drop it in into the blue boxes because most of the stuff I sell will ship 
you know, they're all, it's mostly smaller stuff. So, yeah. I always thought that if somebody were to, you know, create a course on eBay course, uh, and I'll even pay attention here, yep. you know, going to the, uh, post office would be the, the ideal place to get, to get customers for that course, because those people, you know, the, the, the carriers that come by your, your door to pick up the, the packages, the, you know, the people that, you know, recognize you on a regular, ba- regular basis, bringing stuff in, they've got to get curious, you know, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know why they would, why more of them probably wouldn't be uh, eBay sellers. Yeah. Sure. But, uh, yeah. anyhow, so, so, you know, you've built this business, you started this thing if, like 15 years ago is when you started basically, I guess, right. With, yeah. uh, I guess Yahoo, you know, you started on Yahoo auctions <laughs> and did you have any idea that it would get to where it is right now? Or did you kind of know going in that? Yeah, I, I definitely will get it to this point and further. Uh, no, it was just, uh, making some extra money. You know, I had my full-time job and, and, uh, I always liked going to thrift stores and stuff. So I'd go on Saturdays, so I'd work five days and then go to thrift stores on Saturday and list stuff at night or over the weekend. And, and, uh, no, okay. I, ne- I never saw it get coming to this, to this point. So. Right. Oh, that's great. Okay. Though. I mean, is that, isn't that a great thing, though? Here you are. So that means if you've made it to this point, what's coming in the future then? <laughs> Anything's possible. I, I guess. And yeah, it's, I guess it's always the same, the same old... sort of mindset. You know, it, it's in the old days, people used to think eBay was just this little thing you put your uh, your aunt in knitting up or something. But now people are making really good money on eBay, and they and they run it like a business. And I, from people we've interviewed, the people with that sort of mindset tend to do really well on um, on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a, a lot of things I, I I wish I could change, you know, about me, but uh I'm just doing what I can. So Cool. I guess. Hey, it sounds to me like you're doing really well. I wouldn't I don't know that I'd change a whole lot. It sounds like you got uh you got it going on with a a you know, a product or a niche that you like and uh, you've got a lot of resources and you know 60 to 70,000 bit uh, magic cards you're not going to run out of them sh- anytime soon yeah, exactly. um, and even if you did it a buck a piece you're doing pretty good <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah so yeah for sure well sadly it sounds like we, you got it going we're coming to the end of the time do you want to ask a, a last question here ron at all i mean we we sort of we run out of time here no, no, no. Last question is yours. Okay, well, I've asked it already. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? He, so, like, okay, he likes so to twist I, it. He likes to make it comments. So let, let's, let's go with, do you, what's the weirdest, let's go with this one because we haven't asked this one. What's the weirdest product you've sold? I do like to ask this to people on eBay. Right, what's, that, um, what's that one special product that went, oh my God, I can't believe someone bought that. Uh, I, I, I always, this is my go to for that. Uh, I worked at McDonald's for a year right out of high school. Yep. And they gave me little six month and one year pens for being there. And someone bought those for me for like 10 bucks. (laughs) (laughs) I'd have to say that's probably the weirdest things. The weirdest that's thing hilarious. I've ever seen. That's pretty weird. Someone bought little pens from me. <laughs> oh my god! That's right. Well, on that note, <laughs> geez. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the thing. You know, I, we we've heard so many people sell such bizarre things that pretty much just whatever's in your house, stick it on eBay, and it will sell at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Well, seriously, thanks for joining us today. I know you're a little bit nervous, but you, you. you're awesome, and you, you did a great job, and you've got a great little story here, and it sounds like you're you're sort of bringing the family into it, and you're, you're enjoying yeah. doing it, and you're making it into a full-time job. So, seriously, well done. Thank you, thank you. We'll, Absolutely. We'll I appreciate post all that. The, uh, we'll post all the notes of today's interview on our show notes page, which can be found at www.soyouwantosellonebay.com forward slash show notes. But before you leave us... What's the best way that uh, people can get in contact with you? Uh, I'm on Facebook. Uh, if you just go to at uh, Jake Games, I'm on Facebook. And then I have a website, uh, www.jakesgames.com. And that has a link, links to all my other, all my stores that wow. you can find my stuff. Amazing. So. Amazing. So we'll make sure that that's all added to the show notes page. Go check that out, everyone. Once again, thanks for joining us here. From everyone here at So You Want to Sell on eBay, I'm Ali Young. And I'm Ron LeBeau. 
that's all for this episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. Be sure to check out our next episode or any past episodes by going online to so you want to sell on eBay.com. Also, be sure to follow us on your favorite social media sites Facebook.com forward slash So You Want to Sell on eBay and Twitter at Your eBay Podcast. Thanks for listening. And until next time, happy selling. Have an idea for a topic or know someone who would like to be on the show? Let us know. Just go to www.soyouwantosellonebay.com forward slash interview. We look forward to hearing from you. This podcast was produced in part by Pro Voice Works.